associative law. This is what we are going to discuss about. So we'll discuss about this and I want you to understand everything that I'm going to share with you because even on this one, I'll give you a question that you are going to practice. So make sure you follow me properly even as I'm illustrating this. The first one is that the first one that you need to understand under this, the first one that uh, you need to know. This is the first one that uh, you need to know. So due to space, I will try to do this. Okay. So the first one that uh, you need to understand under this one is that A union B union C is equal to A union B union C. Have you seen? These two are just the same. So this is what it is under associative law. So you need to know this one. This is what it means. Someone uh, inboxed me and said that, sir, how can I know in an exam that this is distributive, this is associative, this is commutative? The way you can know them, the same way I'm writing them, you even know associative, it is in this manner. So, you know, okay, any question that will come in this, I'll know that is falling under this law. And these are the steps that you need to follow and get. So, how do we go about this? You prove. How can we so prove now? How can we prove this? So me, I'll prove this one. I'll also give you a question that you need to prove. I want us to be moving together just like that. So you start with the what? This side. You do this. Very important then. You do this. You show that you are starting from this one. So you say, let X be a member of what? A union B brackets union c this is what you are actually doing so this is the first thing you are going to do from here now what are you going to do now is where you do what is where you separate this this is where you separate where you say x is a member of what is in the bracket to say x is a member of a union b have you seen A union B? There is O there. You say O. X is a member of C. This is what you are going to do. And these are procedures you need to get. So after you do this, what is the next thing? The next thing you are going to do now is where you are going to separate them. You separate what is in the bracket. You say X this is what you are going to do. This is what you will do. You say X is a member of A. O X is a member of B. Have you seen the way I'm doing them? O, this O, X is a member of C. This is what you are going to do. You, I break down that thing which was in the brackets then i know that i'm going to group these two together i'm going to group them i'm going to group them so which means that x is a member of a or um, i do this oh have you seen the way i've done oh so you can do this oh you know that you put these together so x is a member of a or this is just the same as X is a member of what? Is a member of B union C. Have you seen like this? This is just one and the same thing. So like this now, what we are going to do now is that you are going to say that X is a member of what? A. This is union. Have you seen? This is what? Union. You say X 
union like this say u then you put this b union c this is what you are going to do have you seen the way i've done this is just one and the same thing so this now you've seen that i've proven that this one is equal to this meaning this one so i'm going to say hence so i'll say hence a union b union c is a subset is a subset of what is a subset of this one which is a union b union c like this i'm done with the first part so this is just one question so now you've proven that we've proven one side which one side have we proven we've proven this side that this side is equal to that other side now we go to this side that it is equal to that side you need to prove both now so i move to that side so i'm going from here this is what i'm doing so i'll do this now so i want to prove that this side which is here this side so i'll say let x be a member of what i write down that a union b union c like this this is what i'm going to do so i prove also this other side so i follow all the procedures that i was doing i follow all the procedures that i was doing so what am i going to do now what i'm going to say is that i'm going to say x this is what i will say x is a member of a x is a member of a x is a member of a then i say what i say o x is a member of what what is in the brackets b union c this is what i'm going to do after i do this then i separate what is in the bracket where i'm going to say x is a member of a or x is a member of b or x is a member of c this is what i'm going to do then i know that here now what i'm uh, i'm putting now what am i putting in brackets this is what i'm putting in brackets these so these are what i'm putting in what in brackets i'm putting this which means that x is a member of what i do a union b like this then o i'll do this then i put a c there this is what i need to do from here now where i'm going to say now since i've written that then i say hence hence the i started with that one so a union b union c is a subset subset of what this one a union b intersection c i'm going to do this so i've proven these two and this is what you need to follow after you do this after you do this we are now you just say therefore therefore this is what you are going to do therefore a union b union c is equal to is equal to what a union b union c like this you are done this is how you get to prove have you seen the procedures i've done all the mess methods i've used on this one you need to make sure that you use them and you understand them clearly these are steps that you need to do these are important things that you need to know so let me give you also another question on this i see how many people are going to get an understanding on this part so let's see how many people are going to answer this so those under my uh lessons it's a must you need to answer this so this is exercise two this is our exercise two exercise two prove 
prove that so i want you to prove that prove that a so the same thing don't say here there is a uh, let me use another marker so a intersection b intersection c is equal to a intersection b intersection c i want you to prove this one so how can you prove this so this is your exercise